Hello everyone. Uh, I am very happy that you are here to learn about the basics of SOAP UI. So, a SOAP UI is an open source web service testing application for basically the SOA uh, based applications. SOA is uh, service oriented architectures. So, it works on web services. Uh, so, I, I want to explain about uh, web services first. So, web services are a service that is exposed on web which act differently uh, on different requests sent by uh, you can say different users or whatever the source may be so it accepts different requests and based on that request parameters it gives different responses so it is very widely used uh, uh, thing nowadays so to uh, basically to deploy and to test that we need uh, we can use soap ui and that is very useful tool in useful and a handy tool to do all this stuff all right so you can check out it, it its history on wikipedia so i'm starting with the basics of soap ui now so here is uh, the interface of soap ui you can download it uh, from web that is a freeware its pro version is yes definitely paid but you can use the free version for a web service you need to have a WSGL path of that web service to access through SOAP first of all go to file create a new project and let's find a web service uh, that is exposed and that is free so here we can see that yes this is a web service to co uh, convert currencies so here is the visual path that we need to use this is basically the path of that web service you can identify it using the WSGL uh, at the end of it it is basically a ASMX file and you need to append question mark and then uh, WSGL at the end copy it and go to soap ui and paste this link here click ok and you will see that yes it is loading the definitions now you can see that under projects it, uh, it has created some methods these are methods and it is having a request as well if I double click that request it is op it opens that request basically it has two windows here you will be sending the, uh, the request that is in XML format and once you submit that request you will be getting the response in on the right side of that right so before sending a request you need to mention the parameters so here the parameters required are from currency and to currency right so let's say I want to convert USG to AUD right so I just need to put these values here and click submit you will see the response here if I change the values let's say SGD to AUD you'll see that trigger response changes so this is how it behaves it gives different responses uh, to different re requests so that makes it it a very handy and very useful tool in all the web applications that are being used today thank you very much for watching this session Keep watching other sessions uh, under this tutorial only so that you can get more knowledge about SOAP UI. Thank you.